There's one. Got one. Nice. That's a nice fish. On the skid. So today I'm uh, Tenkara fly fishing at a fly fishing only stream. This is kind of a crazy setup because I got a 14 foot Tenkara rod. It's the longest Tenkara rod I've ever owned and fished. And it's a fixed line fly fishing from Japan. This is a nice fish though. I brought a long handle net since one of the biggest challenges with Tenkara is just getting the fish in the net. Kind of swing the rod up behind you. Since you don't have a reel, you just kind of got to leverage the fish in using that long, long rod. Just letting him fight that rod. God, there's some like 20 pound rainbows swimming around in here. It's crazy. There we go. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Nice. Check out that beautiful rainbow there. Man, that thing's a tank. Get that fly out of his mouth. There we go. It's right there on the edge of his lip. It's barbless, so it should just pop out. There we go. Awesome. Man, what a pretty rainbow. Let's check out that big rainbow. It's probably 18, 19 inches. Really pretty. All right, let's get this guy going. Back on his way. See you later, buddy. Now look at these big 20 pound rainbows, these triploids laying around or brooders. We just let a bunch of them go and then some of them are not doing so well. So what I got here is a 14 foot rod. It can actually uh, telescope down to 13. So this is 14 foot seven inches at its maximum length. And then I run a full level line um, which is just basically tinted fluorocarbon down to a two three foot liter to a fly. And then you just cast it out and you can toss a little tiny fly a long way. Oh, got one. That's a big one. Saw that guy come from a long way away to get that one. It's gonna take a while to get this guy in. He's probably four or five pounds. Nice fish. Jumper too. You can see that rod all bent out there. Look at these huge trout swimming everywhere. You can hear that line and rod whining a little bit. Beautiful trout. Healthy. Doesn't look like one of the brooders in here. It has all of its tail and everything. So they probably put this one in here at a younger age and let it grow up in here. This stream doesn't freeze. It's fed by a warm water stream or spring. So it, it's really productive. So you can fight them a little bit two handed too by bracing the rod like this. Some tenkar rods even have like an extended handle to deal with larger fish. Um, so that you can two-hand fight. But since you have no drag system, you pretty much have to use the rod to tire them out. You can also handline them when you're, if you feel like they're ready to make things go a little faster. As long as you're confident they're not gonna go on a hard run. And, uh, Wow, look at that. That's a, probably the biggest fish I've ever caught on Tinkara. That has got some shoulders. Look at the size of that fish. That thing's probably, actually probably in six, seven pound range. It's a beast. Very, very cool. That big rod, 14 foot rod, handled it just fine. See you later, buddy. Big one. Let's see if they go for that row pattern. It's pretty, uh, dirty water, so I'm not sure what they're going to think of it. Ooh, there's one. Got him. It didn't take long. That's a nice one. He came out of nowhere for that. 
it's kind of a glorified kiddie pool, but it's kind of fun. God, that thing is a head shaker. This thing is a beast. Look at that thing. Try and get his head turned back this way. There we go. Okay. Oops, no, he's not done. Should be able to get him in now. Oh, almost got him. There we go. I think it's a giant. Look at this one, guys. This one's probably pushing, I'm going to guess eight. Eight or nine, maybe. Very, very nice fish. That was on that row pattern fly. Get going. There he goes. Cool. Well, you wrecked that fly. Just a little row, orange row yarn ball with a bead head. Let's get another. There's one going for it. Oh, got him. Yeah. Every drift. Oh, he's off. That guy just sniffed it. He was like, eh, I might eat that. There we go. Got one. Oh, that's a big one. This guy's not nearly as energetic as the last couple. Oh, she's one mine. <laughs> All right, let's get this guy in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a giant. That's crazy. That's probably 10 pounds. Look at that thing. That's crazy. Look at that. That is like steelhead size. Rainbow. Is there another? Oh, that's a nice one. There we go. Have any orange egg patterns? I'm behind you in your back cast. That here's that orange fly bun. Oh god, that is the ticket, isn't it? That's the uh, one. Oh, it's so ugly. It's just a ball of yarn. I didn't even see him coming, he just came out of nowhere. That thing is huge. This thing is huge. <laughs> this thing is like at least 10, 12 pounds, maybe more. Look at this toad. 
It's like those New Zealand fish. It's such a nasty brooder. <laughs> Let's see if I get this thing in the net. Look at this thing, it's a toad. Oh. <laughs> Look at that thing. Look at the belly in it. That is stupid. That is stupid. Look at this thing, guys. That thing is crazy. Look at my hands compared to it. That is just nuts. Okay, let's get this fly out of his mouth and then we get to business. That's already out, popped out. This is ridiculous. Look at that belly on it. Right there. That is wild. That's crazy. There we go. Got him. It's like fishing in an aquarium. There's like 10 pound trout swimming around everywhere. It's crazy. These uh, little uh, two to four pounders fight a lot better than those big ones. Look at all these huge fish swimming here. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. Pretty, pretty fish. A little more natural looking. A little healthier. Okay, get this grill going back. Pretty fish. Or just this. Maybe some more pigs. Well, I've been sticking a few pigs for fun. I caught a couple already. It's yeah. kind of like a. It's like a little bigger net, though. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's kind of like eating a whole slab of bacon, right? You know it's bad for you, but you do it anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I'm surprised like a lot of them were kind of like laying around like kind of stunned But they they come around after about 20 30 minutes and start kicking and move around, yeah. you know Yeah, it takes a minute for them to you know because the whole shock thing of getting Yeah, loaded. you go through this process and see how, getting you, loaded yeah. and then, how you feel <laughs> A little beat up yeah. <laughs> Are these triploid or are they all diploid? These are diploids. Diploids? Yes. They just get super fat because they're just li living the good life. They're what, four years old? Four? Yeah, they're about four years old. Cool. Yeah. And they range from... Oh, they'll come around. It's a, you know, when I came, when I first, you guys just left, I walked down. There was like 10 of them within like 20 minutes, they all start kicking and come around. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. they're just a little bit stunned, but yeah. they seem like they're all right. Oh, yeah. Tougher than we uh, think they are, I guess. Yeah. They, you know, when I first, you know, my whole, my whole uh, your whole life, you know, when you're, you're bank fishing or whatever for trout, you catch one, put it on a stringer, and it dies. Yeah. You know, well, that was my kind of perception of, of how health, you know, how hardy trout are. Right. But I've worked here for nine years, and I've seen trout go through crap you wouldn't believe. Right. And they, yeah, they just take a licking and keep on I'm taking, yeah. You guys have a good day. Will do. Oh, there's a big one. Shaking 
head shaking. This thing's a monster. Let's see, yeah, it's another big brooder. So these are not triploids, these are diploids according to those hatchery guys. This guy doesn't have much fight, he's just tugged. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he's crazy. Oh my god, I don't think I can get this in the net, but we'll try. I got oh, he does not fit in this net. Look at the size of this fish. That thing is insane. Look at my hand on that. Look at the size of this thing. It's probably, I'm gonna say 20 ish pounds. Nice fish. It's crazy. Wow, that thing is just insane. <laughs> okay. Look at that. Look at that fish. Wow. I think it's crazy. See you later, bud. There we go. Got a nice one. Oh, yes. So I can go for a eat. Man, it's definitely been a lot of fun today targeting these huge trout. I mean, I wouldn't say it's a super skilled fishery, but uh, the presentation did matter. Just had to have the right pattern and really more about sight fishing that bright fly attracted their attention and then I could uh, watch it go in their mouth watch it disappear Really beautiful trout. Right in the corner of the mouth. <laughs> oh. Broke him off right there. Huge. Huge fish. Look at the size of that, guys. That is an awesome last fish. Beautiful color is definitely a brooder. You can see that ragged tail on it. Where are we going? Hung up on his adipose. Look at the size of that fish. Wow, that is wild. Okay, let's get him going. See you later, buddy. Awesome. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye.